Hey guys, what's happening? I thought I'd give you a quick sneak preview to the bikes that are coming up on the auction this week. We've got somewhere in the area 60 Primo motorcycles coming up for sale. This one here, every bike I'm going to show you in this lineup, we're going to do a sneak peek of them. They're all going to be listed with a full video, a 10 minute video of them running and a complete description of exactly what was done to each one. This one here is the Harley Davidson 1250cc street racer sportster that we put an obscene amount of money into. It has the 1250cc big bore Axtel race engine. I thought we'd start off with the fastest one in the lineup. This is a, a 10 and a half, 11 second quarter mile, uh, 1250cc street burner. So that's the first one, 50 more coming. Second one up here that Doc's pushing up is a pristine Harley Davidson. This is the FLHS, otherwise known as the Electric Glide Sport. This is a 1993 Evolution powered beauty. And she is in absolutely pristine shape. Has a dual exhaust, custom seat, lots of really cool accessories. I'll try not to get too detailed because there is a 15 minute video of the bike running up on our page. And you can click the links here for the auctions. Just click on the link and you'll have an, uh, a full, full video on each one of these bikes. Third one up here that Kenny's pushing up is another stunning Harley. We're doing all the Harley Davidsons first if you haven't figured that out. This is an absolutely gorgeous Road King fuel injected. Everybody who's seen this bike has been like, wow, is it brand new? No, it's not brand new. It doesn't have the brand new price tag either. Um, this the auction's ending on this one Saturday. She's loaded with awesome accessories and custom Harley Davidson items on here. So just a beautiful piece, removable windshield, uh, removable uh, backrest on it. She's a beautiful piece, man. Third, the third bike up here is a gorgeous Road King. Here's an absolutely gorgeous Road King uh, in a metallic blue with the white walls. Just a beautiful piece. This is the Road King Classic, which has the leather saddlebags on it, uh, luggage rack, backrest, loaded with options. Uh, click on the link to watch the video to hear this beautiful Harley Davidson run and ride and a co complete description of all the accessories on it. We also have an assortment of uh, leather jackets. Uh, there's a collection of 12 brand new leather jackets here from the Todd Nelson collection. There's a link in here on our website to all of the, in the YouTube page, to all the leather jackets that we have up for sale. These are all genuine Harley Davidson jackets, triple X and four X. And then we have a, a couple of, of just regular extra large ones here also. Next bike up is a highly collectible Harley Davidson FXR Evolution bike. Uh, this was actually one that Junior had purchased and was going to make it his own, but decided to put this one up for sale too, uh, for mainly financial reasons. He's uh, going to let it go. This is another beautiful Harley Davidson FXR custom paint job. This was owned by Tim Slater at X Pro. This is the sport model with the long travel forks, triple disc brakes, um, Thunder header, Makuni carburetor. It's got all the, all, all the right pieces, Le Paris seat, um, long travel shocks, another beautiful classic Harley Davidson. Ron, Ronnie's rolling up here with another classic. This is a, I think it's a 1967. This is a 1967, 100% original and absolutely beautiful Harley Davidson Sprint. Another classic Armaki from the, from the uh, Harley Davidson archives. This looks like it just rolled out of the Harley Davidson Museum. It's original right down to the original paint on the gas tank. That's another beautiful piece. We also have over here, we've got the Harley Davidson tin sets. We've got from, this is from the Todd Nilsson collection. It is a lineup of 23 sets of brand new Harley Davidson NOS custom paint, like the Sportster 100th anniversary flame job, the, the standard store, Sportster tanks. I've got a bunch of fat boy tanks. And I also have over here, I've got the limited edition Harley Davidson military the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine sets. The Army set just sold today for $2,250, so uh, that one's not going to be up for grabs. We also have some bicycles, the West Coast Choppers, and uh, some other bikes that are, that are going up for sale. Another, these are Fat Boy Tin sets also, including the front and rear fender, and then I've got six brand new Big Twin Harley Davidson tanks. All of the tanks are listed in the auction um, uh, manifest there so if you have any questions about them of course give us a call next one up kyle's pushing up this awesome road king 
This Road King Kyle has got is uh, one that is um, absolutely beautiful with some really nice Harley Davidson accessories. The excuse me, Road Glide. The Road Glide. Those in the know know that this is the best high speed. Um, yeah, pretty much all, all the one percenters, all the, the real serious Harley riders that ride uh, um, high speed under Harleys go with this fairing on this chassis because it's stable at highway speeds exceeding you know, uh, 100 miles an hour, they're stable. Now this one is 100% bone stock, came from one of our collector friends, unfortunately, that passed away. He bought it brand new. All of his bikes were museum quality pieces. We bought all eight of them. This has the additional tour pack, which the best part about this is unlike an ultra classic, this one's a quick detach. You can um, easily pop this complete tour pack off with very little uh, time and, and no tools, it comes right off. So it looks like an ultra classic, but you can strip it down to the strip down club style road glide very easily. Beautiful paint job, full description, full video on this. There's a 10 minute video, including a riding demonstration. So if you're interested in this one, check it out. So that, that's it for the Harleys guys. One, two, three, four, five, six Harleys are going up for auction. We'll end this Saturday. Up Next up, we've got Kenny pushing this absolutely stunning Triumph Bonville 750. This looks like it just came off the museum floor downstairs. Well, because that's where it was. This is a beautiful late model Triumph. The upside down original factory shocks, complete with the factory accessory rack. Um, this is a restored, uh, completely restored bike with a brand new paint job on it, new, new seat. The chrome's beautiful. It's pure perfection, one end to the other. Absolutely beautiful piece. Um, full description and video of it riding. I think there's a 10 minute video online of this bike. If you have any questions about it, give us a call. These are getting to be uh, like hen's teeth. Beautiful piece. Very hard to find and very rare to find them in this kind of shape. Just a stunner. Next, next up, we've got a classic 1969 Harley, uh, excuse me, Harley. I'm still got Harley on brain. 1969 Triumph TR6R Tiger. This is an absolutely beautiful piece. Uh, another, unfortunately, uh, deceased guy passed away and his brother bought this into the museum. He had owned this thing for decades and lavished it with love. This is exactly the way it came into us, painted beautifully. Again, this looks like it just rolled off the floor of the museum because it is an absolutely stunning original Triumph TR6R matching numbers. Full video on this, including riding. This thing runs freaking amazing. It does have the shorty uh, shortcut muffler, so it sounds pretty incredible. And uh, it's just a beautiful piece, man. The motor is just stunning on this. It's got some kind of cadmium coating. Uh, and special coatings on the cylinders and the cases. Motor's uh, really strong on this one. I won't get too much into the details, but this is one of my favorites, man. This one's gonna go, so don't miss out. 69 Triumph Classic. Next up comes the Yamahas. Harleys and Triumphs are coming off, and we got the Yamaha MX-80. This is an absolutely beautiful piece. This MX-80 is 100% original. It has an original paint on it, the original steel fenders extremely rare to find in this kind of condition. Usually kids throw these into the ground. My first bike was a Yamaha MX GT80, a 1973. I got it in the Christmas of 72. And uh, this, boy, does this bring back memories. It does have an aftermarket front number plate. This is a steel number plate. But everything else on this bike, including the grips, is original and is absolutely perfect. Beautiful piece. Uh, look good under anybody's Christmas tree. 37 days to Christmas, folks. You wanna make even a big kid happy, buy this bike. Check out the full description and the video of it running. Next up, we've got, uh, we're going from the 80 to the big boys bike. This is a YZ250, absolutely gorgeous. Red and white with the gold rims and the gold shock, completely restored. This is from the McNasty's Customs Collection. Uh, he does powder coating at his shop, so he took it down to the frame, powder coated the frame, new tires, engine's been rebuilt and repainted. Uh, new chains and sprockets, new, new uh, FMF muffler, just a beautiful piece. This is a 1987, and she's a ripper. Full video of this one online, including a drag race between this and a Honda and a Suzuki. So the, the Yamaha held its own. That would look great under anybody's Christmas tree for sure. But th these classic bikes are going up in value too, folks. Here's a classic DT3 Yamaha. Uh, rumor has it this one just sold today uh, to a walk-in buyer, so if it's not listed on the manifest, you'll know why. And look at this thing, it's absolutely gorgeous. All the rest of these bikes uh, will be available. This one here, uh, Kenny just said he thinks someone just bought it, so 
as the oxygen, as the, uh, started rolling them out. So she's a beauty, absolutely beautiful. Classic with custom paint on it. Very, very nice. Next up, Doc with a absolutely beautiful Yamaha DT400. This is a cool piece. This one here is, is a uh, um, 1975 model. Really got a soft spot in, spot in my heart for these. So yeah, this is, the, this is the fifth one of these that we've restored in the last year. We've got these down to a science. We've been upgrading these to the electronic ignition and 12 volt lights. Absolute hoot. There's a complete video of this online. A lot of fun to ride. A lot to like about this bike. Classic, all steel, Yamaha Enduro. Absolutely bulletproof and fun. Investment quality, classic. I, th I, think, I think, Doc, you, you did all five of these, didn't you? Did you restore all five of those? Yeah. You did, well. didn't you? At least three times each. Yeah, <laughs> they came up. That, <laughs> this will accept nothing but perfection, right? That's it, man. Awesome. Yeah. Nice job. Thanks for itself. Nice job, Doc. What do we got next here? This, here's a beauty. This is a Yamaha XT350. This is a four valve, uh, single cylinder, absolutely beautiful time capsule here. Red and white, the, the, I, love, I love the red and white Yamaha. Obviously, red, white, and blue are my colors, but um, this is a stunner. Beautiful piece, completely rebuilt motor with very low miles, only 6,000 miles on it. Uh, the story behind this one is the original owner adjusted the valves wrong and bent the valve and it sat for 35 years until we got it and we re rebuilt the motor and uh, it's basically a brand new motorcycle. Next up, we've got a classic Yamaha Enduro, mini Enduro, this one here. Ronnie's rolling up a DT Enduro. This is a uh, 100cc two-stroke, just a beautiful piece. Uh, very low miles on this, 947 miles. Um, <laughs> you know, most of these got ridden into the ground by guys like me. And uh, I mean, think about it. If you were 16 years old and you had one of these, it would be ridden into the ground, off-road, on-road, and it has uh, enough room on the seat you can pick up your girl and take her out, uh, and it can, it's street legal. So this is the ultimate freedom machine for your inner child. Look great under, under anybody's Christmas tree, All right, Ronnie? Yes, sir. Next up, absolutely super, super rare, Yamaha 1972. MX Racer. This is the original classic steel tank big bore two stroke. This thing is, is super rowdy. Uh, the motor is completely rebuilt by Jeff Castine at All Sport Cycles. It's got new spokes. Uh, the rims have been polished. The forks have been rebuilt. It has brand new fork tubes on it. The brand new from crankcase up engine rebuild. Thousands and thousands of dollars have been put into this. New rear wheel completely rebuilt. New tires. New seat cover. Uh, new fenders. But it has the original paint tank on it which was this was a long-term project, folks. We did this here, right here at the museum. We did, uh, worked on it for months and months. Kyle did a bunch of work on this thing, along with the rest of the team, and she came up absolutely beautiful. Nice job, guys. She's a beauty. If you want to see the video of this kick-ass classic running, check it out. We got a full video of us riding it. Next up, Mark here, AKA number 28, has this awesome classic 1968 Yamaha. First year, this is uh, first year of the Yamaha Enduro with the um, period correct low front fender. This is the first 100% original 2,500 mile Survivor we've ever got in of its type. These are uh, cult classics for sure. And they didn't make a lot of them first year. Highly desirable, highly collectible. Last but not least on the Yamahas is this stunning Venture Royale. This is from the Sil Furtado collection. Still worked on this at Archie's Yamaha since it was brand new in 1984. You will not find a nicer Venture Royal anywhere on the planet. This is the first first uh, 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 style. Of, you know, they upgraded the Venture Royal to other different models. This is the first 22,000 miles VMAX powered Yamaha Venture Royal. Full video online. Next up, we have a classic mini bike. This would look great under the Christmas tree. Rupp Roadster 2 from Rupp Industries in Mansfield, Ohio. Um, all original and lightly restored new seat cover new paint job new chain full video on this is available runs like a dime piece it would make any kid even your inner child happy it's even got a headlight if you want to ride it at night really cool classic these are getting to be rare and it's out for short money beautiful piece next up we've got our lineup of hondas we got the gold wing we've got a whole lineup of them here this one here is an absolutely pristine honda gold wing 
Uh, this is a 1200, another Sulfortado masterpiece. The engine is all painted. The body is in beautiful condition. It's got extremely low miles, 25,000 miles on it. And this is a first generation Goldwing 1200, 1987 model, loaded with custom lights. All the lights work beautifully on it. Lots of custom chrome. And she rides like a brand new motorcycle. I, I, I did the video on this. I'm the rider on this bike. She pulls like a freight chain and everything works perfect. And it's short money for a beautiful classic, super comfortable seats. And uh, it's ready to rumble. Next up is we have a stunning classic 1980 CR125R Honda. This is, I believe, the last year of the steel tank. Is that correct? Uh, or is it first year of the plastic tank? First year of the plastic tank. And uh, long travel. Looks like it's got about 12 inches of travel in the front. This thing's an absolute screamer. It's all stock right down to the shocks. It's got a gold chain, upgraded tires. Uh, it's got a nice set of Renthal bars. Other than that, it's all original componentry. Um, totally frame up restored. This one took us months here and it is absolutely beautiful and it runs like a champ. Beautiful piece. Next up, we've got a Valkyrie Cruiser here. This is a six cylinder absolute monster motor and it's set up with the six into six pea shooter exhaust. I call them pea shooters. Looks like something like a Gatling gun almost. Six muffler tips on here and this thing is and it sounds like a NASCAR, sounds incredible. Leather bags, loaded with custom chrome accessories, top to bottom, front to back, train horns on it, highway pegs. This is an absolute ripper. The guy who uh, gave it up was in his 70s and his wife made him sell it. He was really upset when this one rolled out, but um, it was time for him to let it go. Super, super nice showpiece. Paint job's a stunner on this one. Next up, we've got a Honda. This is a, 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 a big, a big, uh, Step down in cost and complexity from this biggest Honda Cruiser ever made to the Honda VLX 600, which is, I'm not going to call it entry level, but it is, is a great beginner's bike. The VLX has a V-twin motor, full-size frame, beautiful paint job, covered in chrome from front to back. And heck, where are you going to find a nicer bike than this for under two grand? So um, auction ends Saturday on this one. If you want to put a beginner or a uh, nice uh, entry level bike without spending a fortune, under the tree, this might be the bike. Only 13,000 miles on this all original, just massage to perfection classic. Another entry level Honda here. Not everybody's got five to 10 grand to spend for a bike. Well, why would you when you can buy something like this for under $2,000? Typical Honda quality, shines like a diamond. This is another Silfortado massaged machine here. And the real nice tires on it, uh, new battery. The tank's been serviced, carbs, everything's done on it. She's ready to rumble, k and filter on it. It's filter charged and ready to roll. Beautiful paint. All these bikes we're showing here, you now are all perfectly running classics that have been thoroughly massaged. Well, for those that don't want to spend all the money but still want a kick-ass bike, we've got 20 as-is bikes, classics that are going to be up for sale. Um, we'll be covering those next. They're downstairs on the first floor. We are on the third floor of the New England Motorcycle Museum. As you can see, we're chock full of bikes here. No, we're not going out of business. No, we're not selling the museum bikes. We're selling bikes to raise funds to keep, keep us going here through the Kaplan Cycles buy, sell, trade business. This one here is a stunning ETC 200M. Uh, this is, I have a really cool video. I had a blast. It was one of the first snowstorms of the year. I took this out in the snow and she is an absolute runner. What a hoot. We're doing donuts everywhere on it in the snow. A lot of fun. Four season fun, classic, vintage. You don't even make these anymore. ATC, Honda with the headlight. Very cool piece. This is Shane. If you, if you don't recognize him, he's our parts manager, buys all the parts. Uh, he's responsible for purchasing the, the parts to restore about 50 bikes a month. You probably know Ronnie. He's been in a bunch of our videos. Ronnie's one of our lead detailers. This is a beautiful classic. Another Silfortado tuned. He, he's the gold wing guru from Rhode Island. Who This was his personal bike, and it runs... Really awesome. Did the whole full Monty uh, carbs, painted the motor, painted the intakes. Everything's been done on this thing. Uh, brakes, tires, everything. Just a really cool piece. He also shaved down the uh, the uh, windshield on it to give it that uh, Harley Davidson Road Glide look to it. Uh, short money on this one, yet it's a classic bulletproof Honda. This one right here, you just missed out on. This just the auction closed on this one today. An NX650 uh, yeah, uh, excuse me, Honda. That one sold. Doc just pointed that out to us. Coming up, the classic Suzuki. Uh, the 
Penton and uh, the RM250 and the KX500. Before I show you those, these are the ones we sold in last month's aug uh, uh, auction. We have the Yamaha 490, the drag bike, a Goldwing, a um, KZ400, an XL185, a Buell, a CR80, a 1958 Panhead uh, that just sold uh, for $28,000, another 68, an 86 Harley, a CR250, a KX250, a CR480, a beautiful CR125R, a Harley, a DT250, Uncle Dale's Nighthawk, a Seika 550. These are the ones that are already sold, folks. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss out on this month's auction. Classic Ironhead, uh, an RD400. Sold 151 motorcycles in September, 60 bikes plus in October. Just sold John Greer's Spirit of America 1776 CR500. I think at this point it's safe to say we are selling more classic motorcycles than any other dealer in the country and we're certainly restoring more. We've got a staff of 20 guys here that, that do the motorcycle restoration. We have four floors here full of motorcycles. This is the third floor. If you want to get your bike into one of our auctions, give us a call 860-454-7024. Once a month we'll be having a uh, large motorcycle auction of vintage bikes from a to z next up two classic kawasaki's on the auction block here we've got the kx 500 this is the big bore beast you've all heard of this is the notorious uh widow maker the fastest big bore two-stroke uh known to man this is the one the young guys like junior and shane uh this is just a beautiful piece man it's all restored full video of this one pulling massive hole shots and uh riding around the compound if you want to see her run and hear her run, beautiful piece. Can't go wrong with the KX. Next up, next up, we got the classic Kawasaki KZ900 with a four to one Kirker header, spoke wheels, chrome front end, serious super bike material right here. These are probably one of the most uh, uh, most widely road raced and drag raced motors ever made. Bulletproof known to go a half a million miles on the crank. They have killer crankshafts on these things. They run forever. Now they're investment quality classics, and they're uh, a lot of them are getting shipped overseas, folks. If you want to buy one, get them now while you can still afford them. This one's reasonably priced, well under 10, well under 10,000. Here we got the uh, banana sandwich. Suzuki RM250 1988. This is the same bike I rode and raced when I was a kid, complete with the Hoosier tires, gold rims, it's got the chrome FMF exhaust. Uh, just a beautiful piece, man. These are getting really hard to find. Just pops with the blue frame, the chrome swing. The, it's actually an aluminum swing arm, but it looks chrome. Ronnie polished that up. Ronnie does a lot of our, our um, high-end high aluminum detailing. Gold chain, just a stunner. Real, real personal favorite of mine. I raced this uh, all over the country. Not this exact one, but one just like it. It just looks beautiful. Look at this thing rolling along here. Wow. Sex on wheels right there, let me tell you. She's a beauty. Now I've got one hearkening back to my youth. This is a 1978, I was 13 years old and this came out. Suzuki PE250 Enduro. Extremely rare to find these in this kind of shape. Fully restored, frame up restoration on this. It has the original guard on the headlight, which most of those got smashed uh, from us kids riding them through the woods. Beautiful piece. Full video on this one too. Full, full test evaluation and description. Headlight, taillight, works performance shocks, gold chain, brand new Dunlop tires, new crossbar pad, massage to perfection with a pro quality new paint shop. Good luck finding another one of these anywhere at any price. And this is priced under four grand. Lots of bikes here that, that, that you can afford to buy that uh, you can't find anywhere else. Unlike buying a new bike, these are going to still be worth, in fact, it'll be worth, I can promise you it'll be worth more next year than it is this year. Next up, Suzuki RM250. Now this is a rare one right here. Look at this. Wow, what a beauty. Look at the cylinder on this thing. Just beautiful. Steel tank, long travel, lay down shocks, forks are chromed out, actually polished aluminum. Just a beauty. Doc, you're, you're a Suzuki guy. You got a, what, what is your bike? You got an RM125, right? RM125, yeah. I uh, absolutely enjoyed doing this bike. It's a gorgeous bike, original through and through. Uh, with the silver head and the black motor is absolutely gorgeous um, and it really goes watch the video your RM125 what year is yours 
Oh, three. How, how old are you, Doc? Uh, 61. And you're still sending it with the young guns, showing them what's up. If you uh, a friend, uh, check Doc out on Facebook. There's you won't recognize him in full gear. He looks like he's 18, and he takes out his arm 125 with his son, who's got a new 450 Honda, and uh, sends the 125 is perfect for for us old guys, you know. Perfect, absolutely great bike, fun bike, nice and light and quick. Fast. You can you uh, back in the days the 125s turned the fastest lap times on a rough track. So never underestimate an old dude on an RM125. Guys, I'm going to do a quick recap of all the bikes that are going up for auction ending this Saturday here. Um, I'll just walk down the line and you can feast your eyes. We didn't do the Jack Piner 175. I'll show you that one. The Yamaha, the RM, the RM250, the Rupp, the KX500. On down the line here to Harley Heaven. We've got a Road Glide, the Armaki, the FXR, the Road King, the other Road King. The drag bike, the FLHS Electric Glide Sport, the Triumph Bonnie 750, the 69 650, the DT250, the DT400, the XT350, the Enduro 100, the MX360, the MX80, the KZ900. Again, folks, there's videos of every one of these bikes, extensive videos. I'll call them rotisserie videos. We go over every nook and cranny of these bikes on the videos that are all going up for auction. So if you want more information, please go online, watch the videos. Call us if you have any questions. Let's go down to the first floor. I'll show you all the, the bikes and the Mach 1 Mustang and all the cool bikes down there for sale being auctioned off with low reserves. Yep. Here's Doc with the Penton Jack Piner 175, another one that Doc has restored. Uh, not once, but twice, because we sold it a few years ago and it came back and it just needed a little refreshing. She's a beauty, huh, Doc? Yes, absolutely beautiful bike. Someone parked it outside and let it got real rusty, and uh, I had to go over everything, pretty much paint. You know, you know, uh, you would wonder why someone would do that with with a classic like this. She's absolutely beautiful. So, what did you have to repaint on it? Uh, lower part of the frame and the swing arm. Yeah, but not the tank. Uh, the tank know, leaking shed or something, but yeah, it was completely rusty on the bottom. <clears throat> okay, excellent. So yeah, she was um, neglected for a little while, but Doc gave it a full restoration. And what do you think about it now, Doc? Oh, it's a beautiful bike. Nice piece. A lot of NOS components on here. Shock, uh, uh, new chain, new tires, um, the new fenders, original paint on the tank, which is remarkable that it cleaned up that nice. New seat cover, uh, new handlebars, uh, new kicker, new shifter, just hundreds and hundreds of dollars of NOS components. New spokes on here. A uh, new Akron front rim laced to the original spokes. A so new aluminum rims, new spokes. A lot of work, man. A lot of work. But she's a beauty, and she's worth it. Full well, video of this one. Run. Full video it's of this up. one. I'm buying. The only year that they had that. That's true. The doctors point out it's a Penton KTM. And, uh, of course, KTM took over and kicked John Penton out and bought him out. So, beautiful piece. We're going to head downstairs here to the first floor. We covered all the bikes on the third floor that are for sale. So let's come on downstairs here and we'll show you what's on the first floor. Got some really great stuff down here, including the Christmas trees already set up. Why not? We've got a 1929 Plymouth sedan. We have a 1939 Plymouth sedan. Uh, we've got a Chevrolet Suburban 2005. Um, this XR1200 is not for sale, but the customized snap-on lift with the polished aluminum and custom automotive quality paint job and polished aluminum ramp on the back snap-on. This was originally a $2,750 lift, and then it was uh, got a $1,000 custom paint job on it. That's for sale. Uh, I think the reserve on that's like $1,700. Really good value. Top of the line lift. In here, it's a little dark, but we've got the Ivan Stewart edition Toyota Tundra. This is uh, auctions ending Saturday on this one too. Full video on this Ivan Stewart one owner pristine Tundra. We got a '69 Mach 1 Mustang. Um, this is a really rare bird too. Really nice piece. Not too many of these survived. Uh, one owner car, 38,000 miles on the Mach 1. Just a beautiful, beautiful piece. Full video on this. There's two videos. As a matter of fact, one 20 minute and one. 30 minute video on this one, explaining the full history of that car. We even got something for the kids under the tree. If you're trying to get a kid into riding, 
These striders are the perfect two to four year old bikes with no, no pedals for the kids that have to stress about. Um, I've got, I think, three of the 12 inch ones, green and two, two greens of pink, and uh, a couple of the bigger ones too. Those are all online, click on the link. Those look great under your tree. We've got the Hogan Cycle sidecar rig for a uh, uh, Penton. Some of the accessories and stuff we have for sale uh, on the auction, we have three of these uh, motorcycle lifts. We've got a Renthal um, display, six foot tall display. We've got a tire changer. Uh, we have a snap-on motorcycle and automotive tire balancer. We've got a Coke machine, vintage Coke machine. A, um, this is from a Harley Davidson dealer. It's a motorcycle display that actually had uh, Buell's on it. Originally it was for Buell, as you can see, Buell. Those are removable, replaceable uh, side panels in here. They slide out and they have other ones. They've 